Hello YouTube, it's Kiki Wane and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then thank you so much for tuning in and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join my growing YouTube family. Also hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload more videos. Today's video is going to be a little different than my normal. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, but this video is also going to be a informative video for anyone that's interested in learning about the root chakra and the characteristics of the root chakra. So if that's something that you're interested in, please go ahead and keep watching. The root chakra is pronounced muladhara in Sanskrit. Mula meaning root and Adaras meaning support. So this chakra is basically the base of all the chakras. So if this chakra is not balanced, then the rest of your chakras will also be unbalanced. If you are new to chakra work and you're not sure where to begin, I always suggest starting with your root chakra because it is the foundation of the rest of your chakras. The root chakra is represented by the color red, hence the reason why red is the main focus of this video. And the root chakra is also located at the base of the spine. The symbol of the root chakra is a lotus flower with four petals. Each petal represents a level of consciousness. So the higher the chakra, the more petals that chakra will have. The root chakra focuses on our fight or flight mode. So basically how we respond in those type of situations where we have to defend ourselves. The root chakra also focuses on manifesting the things you want in life, remaining grounded, meeting your survival needs, taking care of yourself mentally and physically, knowing your right to survive and your right to be here, and also being able to control your emotions. The root chakra also represents how we experience life. So with your chakras, there are two ways that your chakras can be out of balance. They can either be blocked, which means they're not producing enough energy, or they can be overactive, which means they're producing too much energy. Most of the time when our root chakra is blocked, it is due to childhood trauma or things that we have not faced from our childhood. A lot of times we hold on to childhood trauma and not even realize it. And when you hold on to any trauma that you've dealt with as a child and you let that carry on throughout your adult life, it does affect you. It affects how you interact with people. It affects your relationships with other people. It can also affect you physically and have a large impact on how you view the world around you. One of the most common signs that your root chakra is unbalanced is depression. I know a lot of us don't like to talk about depression, but if you are someone that is dealing with depression and you want to heal and you don't know where to start, I really hope this video inspires you and gives you a starting place on where you can start your healing journey and you know find your inner peace. When your root chakra is unbalanced, you find yourself losing your will to survive. So that's the reason why I use depression as an example. You will start to isolate yourself so you won't hang out with your friends like you used to or you won't find yourself going to any gatherings. Sometimes you may not even want to talk on the phone to anyone. So isolation is one of the signs that your root chakra is off balance. You may also find yourself losing focus. So you may start a task and not finish it. Or you may find yourself with all these ideas and things that you want to do, but you don't have the will or the drive to do them. Another sign that your root chakra may be off balance is not taking care of yourself. And when I say not taking care of yourself, I mean physically. So, you know, just getting up and doing your makeup for the day or doing your hair, getting your nails done, you know, just doing things to take care of yourself. Sometimes when your root chakra is off, you can also find yourself not eating like you used to, so then your weight will start to drop. You will also find that your confidence is low, so when you have low confidence, that's also a reason why you don't find the will to get up and actually take care of yourself. You also start to feel like you're not comfortable in your own skin. 
This can also reflect in having poor hygiene. Another very common sign that your root chakra may be unbalanced is not having control over your emotions. You may notice that every little thing upsets you or you may get angry easily. You may also find that your thoughts are scattered or you may have a really hard time thinking straight. Another sign that your root chakra may be blocked is not having the ability to defend yourself in certain situations. Um, so you might find that when someone comes at you wrong, you may not have the courage to speak up for yourself or you may have a hard time setting boundaries. Okay, so now we're just going to go over some of the signs that you may have an overactive root chakra. When your root chakra is overactive, you may find that your fight or flight mode is in overkill. You will always be in survival mode and you always feel the need to defend yourself, even in situations where it's not necessary. When you have a constant need to defend yourself, you also have the feeling that the world is out to get you or that everyone has a personal vendetta towards you. You may find yourself so focused on surviving that everything else around you doesn't even matter. So when I say that you're focused on surviving, I mean this as in even going to work all the time. So you're so focused on, I need to make money, I need to make money, I need to make money, that you're working so hard that you don't even take the time to enjoy the pleasures of what you've earned with that money. You may also find that you get upset easily or you're easily triggered and that also comes off as anger towards other people. Another sign of an overactive root chakra is just having an unhealthy lifestyle and this may show up as having drug addictions, alcohol addictions, or any type of substance addiction. You may also find yourself overeating which in turn can cause weight gain. Another sign that your root chakra may be off balance is you may find yourself pushing those that you love away. And you may also have a really hard time letting new people in. This may also cause you to set too many boundaries. Now we're just gonna go over some of the ways that you can balance your root chakra. One way of balancing your root chakra is getting out in nature. So getting out in nature can consist of exercise, going on a long walk, even getting a couple plants and just planting them outside or just putting your feet in the grass. By doing these things, it will help you be one with nature and it will also help you ground yourself. Another way to balance your root chakra is just to move your body more. So get up and dance if you like to dance. Get out the house, go out and hang out with some friends, go to the mall, go out to eat. Just make sure you're moving, whatever you do. Don't sit around and mope and lay in the bed. Get up and get active. Another way to balance your root chakra is color therapy, which is exactly what we are doing in this video. Color therapy is just a way to trigger the subconscious mind and to also focus on what you're trying to work on. So since we are working on the root chakra, we are doing a red makeup look and I am also wearing the color red. You can also eat more red foods, make sure the foods are healthy. And those foods can be like strawberries, cherries, watermelon, red apples, or any other red fruits that you may like. A couple vegetables that you can incorporate are beets, red peppers, red potatoes, or even tomatoes. Another way that you can balance your root chakra, and this is one of my favorite ways to balance the chakras, is meditation. Meditation is a great way to exercise the mind. It's a moment for you to sit in silence and for you to reflect on what you need to work on. Prayer and meditation fall hand in hand. Another thing that you can do is you can pray. In those times where you need guidance, you can pray and ask for that guidance. And when you meditate, is a time for you to receive that guidance. When I meditate, I also like to use crystals. And I am going to go over a couple of crystals that are perfect for your root chakra. One of my favorite crystals is red citrine or red carnelian, but a couple of other crystals that you can incorporate are petrified wood, red jasper, tourmaline, obsidian, 
smoky quartz, red tiger's eye, or even clear quartz. And clear quartz is more of a universal crystal, so that crystal can actually be used with any of the chakras. Aromatherapy is another great way to balance your chakras. I like to put essential oils in my diffuser while I meditate, and I'm just gonna go over a couple of my favorite essential oils. So my favorite is lavender, but you can also include sandalwood, frankincense, cinnamon, ginger, cypress, carrot seed, cedar atlas, ylang ylang, and patchouli. Essential oils don't always have to be used in diffuser. They can also be used in candles or in body oils. And for me, I think it is very important to set the tone when you are meditating. And that is where these essential oils come into play. Because when you're meditating, you can put them in your diffuser, you can light a candle, you can take a nice bath and use them in your bath. It's just all for aromatherapy. And last but not least, one of the most important things that you can do to balance your root chakra is to focus on healing whatever childhood traumas you may be dealing with. I think working on childhood trauma is one of the hardest parts of this journey, but it is one of the most important parts of this journey. And ways that you can work on any childhood traumas is by journaling, you know, writing down how you feel, releasing anything that you're holding on to, whether that's forgiving the person that hurt you or forgiving anyone that may have hurt you or forgiving yourself if that's what you need to do. But all in all, you have to let go of the trauma. Another great way of working on balancing your root chakra is affirming yourself and who you are. Every affirmation can be tailored for you and what you are dealing with, but whenever you do come up with an affirmation, a great way to use them is by writing them down on sticky notes, sticking them on a mirror or something that you can look at them every day, listening to affirmations every single day and writing them down in your journal, or even just saying them out loud to yourself or in your head. Using affirmations are a great way to tap into your subconscious mind. Affirmations are a way of speaking life into yourself and speaking things into existence. So when you speak an affirmation on a daily basis, eventually you will start to think the way that you are speaking and you will start to feel better, you will start to think better, and overall you will grow and become better. Working on your chakras are way more than just a spiritual practice. For me, it is a lifestyle change. And when you start to tap into your chakras or you start to work on your chakras, you start revealing different aspects of yourself that you didn't even realize existed. You start to release trauma and hurt and pain that's buried so deep inside of you that you don't even realize it affects your everyday life. When you start to tap into those things, you start recreating yourself for the best you start to become the best version of yourself that you can be and I feel like overall that's the goal in life is to be the best you that you could possibly be that way you can lead life with love and happiness and not carry a whole bunch of baggage and sadness and hurt and anger just let it all go and live and be free and be happy that's the goal in life I want to share with you guys my personal affirmation just for anyone that doesn't know where to start or doesn't know what their affirmation should consist of. I am strong. I am loved. I am secure. I have the right to be here. I have the right to survive. I will stay firm in my emotions. I am not easily moved. I am grounded in the universe. I will take care of myself and my family. I love my body and trust its wisdom. I will manifest what I want in life. I love my life. I am worthy. I am protected. Alrighty, my loves, that's it for this video. I really hope this video was able to inspire anyone out there that may be suffering with depression or just on their spiritual journey and just doesn't know where to start. I really hope this video helped you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you can stay updated when I upload more videos. Again, I really appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.